What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to Raymond. Um, Raymond dropped me a comment a couple hours ago, um, and I just thought it'd be beneficial if I shared it because this is this is a good question, especially for people that are starting out. You know, freelancers, people building an agency, trying to build an agency. You know, and just going after clients, going after business owners, um, and really offering you know services, marketing services, social media marketing services. So this kind of video is for you guys since that's what I do full time. I've been building a social media agency since 2016 um, here in San Diego, but hundreds of clients later every single one of them is across the country every single one of them has been and i'm referring to 100 percent 100 percent of them has been um um through social media through direct messaging or maybe even my youtube channel but really not not really i don't my youtube channel really isn't for that my whole strategy around building my agency is is all through the dm um on on social media so I just want to kind of walk through this comment and kind of just maybe maybe shed some light on on my approach and how I do it. And I just truly believe, man, when I started my agency in 2016 and I was learning from the same people that you guys were learning from, um, there was pretty much one approach and every single person was teaching, every guru was teaching, go out there and get a client for 2000 a month or 2500 a month. And so as I started doing that, I noticed that that was a huge responsibility and my knowledge wasn't quite there just yet. Like I didn't master Facebook ads at that point. This was in 2016. You know, I, I didn't master Instagram ads or YouTube ads at that point. And so I knew that everyone was pitching, every agency out there was going after clients, pitching expensive marketing packages to run their Facebook ads or build their landing pages, right? <clears throat> so as I'm jumping in in 2016, I'm realizing that the majority of, of my competition, the majority of the market out there was pitching these high packaged, high price packages, right? And so after analyzing the market, the consumer market, first of all, it started by knowing my niche, okay? After analyzing my niche and really following a lot of them on social media and, and starting to see how they were marketing, marketing their business, I just realized that 99.9% .9 of them were missing the basics and majority of them couldn't even afford 2,500 a month on a monthly retainer. So I knew that, that the majority of them couldn't afford that. So therefore, but, but at the same time, there's always a percentage percentage that can, right? You have your wealthy buyers and you have your normal day-to-day -day average joke consumers right buyers so there's a market for everything and for everyone for every price point there's a market but at the same time i knew that i i didn't want to rely on going after high ticket monthly retaining clients because if i did then i was going to leave a lot of money off on the table and i didn't want to do that so i had to figure out different services that i can provide at a, at a lower price point just to get me through the door, like just to allow me to, to provide a few basic services, impress them, build a relationship with them, and then eventually gradually grow with them from there and, and, and take them higher every month on, on my retainer, for example. So you, it started by knowing my niche, right? I truly believe that you have to niche down. I niched down from day one. So in 2016, I started going after one specific client, one niche, and I've been on that niche ever since. So that's something you have to do for sure. Um, and, and the way I, I kind of fell into my niche was the fact that I came from that industry. I came from mortgages and real estate. So I knew what a lot of them were lacking. I knew a lot of them were, were, were not marketing. I knew a lot of them were not leveraging social media marketing. So I knew, I knew the, the pains and I knew the, 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 the pros and cons of that entire industry when it came to what I was trying to provide, which was social media marketing services and Facebook advertising. So I truly believe you have to know the niche, you have to know the pain points and you, I truly believe also that you have to, you have to have some type of experience in it, man. Like you have to have came from that industry or you had to, or you have to have some type of passion or interest or, or future interest in that industry because anything you do, man, is going to be hard. Like anything you do is hard. I don't care what it is, man. Anything you do is hard. So 
one of my favorite quotes from the late great Steve Jobs was the fact that he said, and I quote, you have to love what you do because if you don't, you're going to quit because it takes drive, it takes determination, it takes commitment, it takes sweat equity. It takes just hustle and grind until you until you see it pop off and 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 it's not going to pop off overnight it's going to take some time to, to get anything off the ground and so you better have a passion in it you better have an interest in it you better like what you're what you're doing or you're going to quit and so i just think you have to have a background you have to have some type of experience or you have to have some type of passion or interest in the niche that you're looking to pursue again this is for you guys that are freelancers or trying to build an agency or going after clients to provide services that niche matters, man. Because again, if you're, if you have no absolute, no interest in dentistry and you're just some random person, but you're going to go after dentists and provide marketing services, it's like, dude, good luck. Like you'll, you'll may, you may get a few clients, but you're, you're not going to stick around. Like you're not going to go all in. You're not going to build a huge company. You're not going to build a huge income because you're just, you're just in it for the wrong reasons. You know, you got to dive into it. Like my whole thing is real estate. Like I love real estate. I want to buy real estate. I want to own real estate. I want to have apartments. Like I come from it. Like I spent six years as a mortgage banker, you know, dealing with loan originators and, and, and mortgages for homes and real estate agents and open houses and dealing with all that stuff. I came from that. I came from that background and then I come from marketing prior to mortgages. I've been in marketing since 1999. You know what I mean? So shit, I got some years on you guys. You know what I mean? So I come from that, which gives me leverage when I'm speaking to people, man, when I'm speaking to these clients or these potential clients, when I'm presenting, um, I got leverage. Like I'm able to talk the lingo. I'm able to bring up different terms and different vocabulary and different verbiage. I'm able to talk like them. You know, I'm able to say different things that they relate to. And they're like, holy shit. And I know for a fact it works. It works every time, man. Every time I tell a person that I've been in the mortgage industry and that I dealt with, you know, real estate agents and bankers, you know, for six years. And anytime I bring that up, which is every presentation, I swear, man, I feel it through the phone. Like I, I use Zoom, first of all. I don't use a telephone to to talk to these clients or pitch these clients. I use Zoom just like this so I can visually share them, share my screen and show them what they're missing. Um, but um, but um every time I bring it up, man, it's like I can feel it on the call. I can feel them be like, okay, damn, cool. Okay. Now, 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 now I know where he's coming from. I swear, man, every time I bring up the word mortgage and I, and I tell my background and my experience and, and, and it's like, dude, that's the same person. They're coming from the same industry. They're in the same in industry. They're going to be, they're, they're going to automatically, they're going to gravitate to you automatically. They're going to, they're going to completely believe what you're saying because all, all of a sudden you have a different level of, of authority. You come from the, you're, you're cut from the same cloth as them. And now they feel they can relate to you. Super, super powerful, man. But again, if I was telling people all my background in, in mortgages and real estate, but yet I'm talking to a freaking doctor and talking to him about ads. He's going to be like, dude, okay, you don't even know what ad to run. Like they're going to be thinking like that. I'm weird. Right. And it is weird. It is weird. So long story short, man, shout out to Raymond. This is what he's saying. But I kind of went on a tangent there because I truly believe it's important. You have to know the niche first. You have to know the niche. You have to be fired up about the niche and you have to be all in with that niche, in my opinion, um, in my experience. And, 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 um, and you need to know their pain points because that right there is going to answer this question. He's asking, I was wondering if you, if you have some material or are planning on making a video about how to handle initial meetings. Do you have a certain go-to tips and how to's okay or do you check out all their stuff and decide the best route let's start with that let's start with that that's a really good a really good couple questions there do you have a certain go-to tips and how to's or do you check out all their stuff and decide the best route here's how i used to here's how i here's how i started it so when i started my agency in 2016 um I was offering website services. This is at the very end of 20 of, excuse, of 2016. 
very end of 2016 into 2017, I was going after the same niche, but offer that offering them website services. Okay. Cause I knew, I knew the pain points again. I knew that their website sucked. I knew that, um, their, their, their website was not controlled by them. It was by it's, it was controlled by the company that they worked for. Like I knew all these things, right. Which gave me leverage to be able to pitch it to them and say, Hey man, this is why you need this website because your website, you know, doesn't belong to you. So I, I, I started that in 2016 into 2017 and then, um, and then into 2020, at towards the end of 2017, in fact, I have a video on my YouTube channel. It was at the end of 2017, well, September to be exact. It's on my YouTube channel. September of 2017 is when I started, when I switched it up, I switched out my service and I started offering social media marketing services and Facebook advertising because that's when I started realizing that's when the light bulb went off. That's when another light bulb went off. And I'm like, dude, they don't need a website. They need this. And so I, I, I completely shifted gears and I started pitching landing pages versus a website. And I started pitching social media services instead of a website. And so it was in 2017 when I launched, when I relaunched and still same industry, same niche. And I started offering them a completely different service. And both times when I was pitching website services and when I was pitching um, um, landing pages and social media services, I was using a PowerPoint. So my PowerPoint, in fact, let me pull it up. I don't use it anymore. I don't use it anymore only because I gotten so good. And this is not just, you know, me being cocky. I'm not trying to be cocky, but I got so good at the pitch where I don't even need. Um, in fact, I don't even have it on my downloads anymore. I got so good at the pitch where I didn't even need it anymore. And that was a PowerPoint. So when I first started, I had a PowerPoint. I would, I would bring up my PowerPoint. I would share screen just like this. I use Zoom for this screen share. And this is a free app, zoom.us. You guys can go to this site over here and install Zoom. This right here is, is what I'm using to make every single YouTube video. And it's what I use to schedule my appointments. So I use Zoom. When you come in here, you have your own link and, and you can, um, in fact, let me just, let me just log in and show you. This is my link right here. So this is literally the link that I'm on right now. Okay, that's the link that I share when I go to schedule appointments, which I'll, I'll get into. Um, but um, I use Zoom to share my screen and, and walk them through. And I would, I would share my PowerPoint, right? I would share my PowerPoint with them and, and I would go over certain steps. So again, in my particular case with me, man, back to your question, my, my tips and how to's were, were it, it all started by me analyzing the market and knowing what they were missing. That's another thing, man. You, you have to go all in with that market because you want to analyze the market. You want to, you want to analyze that niche and you want to see what they're missing, what they can, what can they improve on? And here's the thing, man, here's a tip for you guys is that my whole strategy has been the DM. My whole strategy has been direct messaging my niche people on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Those three platforms and Twitter, you can even do it on Twitter, but on Twitter too, what I teach and what I've done since 2016 is I say, okay, go get rid of every single person on Instagram that you're following and only follow your niche. Get rid of every single random person on your LinkedIn and only connect with people in your niche and do it by the thousands. Connect with thousands of people in your niche. If you're going after plumbers, go connect with every single plumber on LinkedIn. I'm talking by the thousands. If you're on Facebook, your personal Facebook page, not your business page, your personal Facebook page, unfriend or block or take off every single random person that you don't know on there, and even every family and friend unfriend every single one of them, move them all to your Instagram and fill up your 5,000 friend list with everyone in that niche. So if you're going after attorneys or if you're going after chiropractors or dentists, you're not looking for the assistant. You're not looking for the employee. You're not looking for the random person that works there. You're looking for the real person and you can find them on LinkedIn and Facebook for sure. Like you can search for it for sure. Um, and fill up your 5,000 friends with that niche. That's where it starts, man. 
that's where it starts. That's what I teach. That's what I've done. That's what I still continue to do. And I close multiple clients every single week as a result of it. And that's since 2016. That's been since 2016. So when you follow that many people, man, here's what happened to me. Because I'm following thousands of people on the same niche, I started seeing patterns. I started seeing habits. I started seeing what everybody was doing and how everybody's doing the same damn thing. It's so freaking bizarre, man. It's so bizarre. When you're following thousands of people that are in the same field, okay, when it comes to either, put it this way, it could apply to anything, a parent. If you're following thousands of people that are parents, if you're following thousands of football fans, if you're following thousands of freaking people who love yoga, same thing, man. People start to post the same stuff, right? And so same thing with Facebook. As you fill up your friend list, you have 5,000 spots. I literally filled up every single one of them with people in my niche. And I unfriend and add more. I keep that 5,000 list fresh at all times, man. Um, and so what happened to me is that in 20, 2018, I started realizing, I'm like, dang, all these people are doing the same thing and they all suck and they're all missing the basics. They're all missing this. They're all missing that. And so I already knew as I started to build and as I started to reach out and as I started to message, first of all, that messaging, man, I would tweak my approach and tweak my message every week. Like, okay, this message didn't, didn't get that many people to reply to my direct message. Let me twist up, twist a few words and tweak it a little bit and send out another one. And so that has been a constant improvement. And now to the making of this, to now at the making of this video, which is freaking what are we in November of 2019, I have literally, literally perfected my message from the message I send them to when I reply to when they reply to the next message I send them to when they reply to how I get them to schedule an appointment with me on zoom. Like I have mastered that part, man. I do it like clockwork. I can message in my freaking sleep and get people to schedule an appointment with me. Now I still have to go through my numbers. It's not like a magic message where I send it to one person and all of a sudden they're like, Hey David, yeah, let's talk tomorrow. No, I still have to go through my numbers like anything. But my, my, my percentages are freaking high. My close rate is 90%. Like when I get you on, on Zoom like this and we talk and, 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 and um, I'm getting ready to show you what you're missing, 90% closure rate, man. I close nine out of every 10 and it's been like that since 2016. So it all starts, Raymond. It all starts. You, you're asking, do you have a certain go-to tips and how-tos or do you just check out their stuff and decide the best route? This, this right here is, 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 is from me analyzing and me doing my research and my, me doing my due diligence and me following thousands of people to see what thousands of people are doing and to see what thousands of people are not doing. Again, this could be on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. You could be doing the, this approach on, on all these four platforms, okay? Those, those top four for sure. Because you can follow that niche and you can direct message that, that, that person. That's why it works. Um, so I started knowing what they were lacking and, and I started using that to my advantage. And, and so, yes, man, I do know what, what, first of all, I don't, I don't go look at all the, I, 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 if anything, I'll, I'll glance at their stuff. But again, man, at this point, I have already realized what 99% of my niche lacks like i already know it like and i already know what they all want every single business owner man every business owner so if you're a freelancer or if you're building an agency and you're going after clients 100 percent. it does not matter what business it is man it could be any business 100 percent of them are looking for a lead or a sell bottom line there's nothing else to business man you're either selling something or you're not bottom line and so I just developed like a simple five-step system that teaches people the basic steps. Like here's step one, implement all this on your social media. Here's step two, run this Facebook ad. Here's step three, run this Facebook ad. Here's step four, drive them to a landing page. Here's step five, take them to an email autoresponder. These five basic steps apply to any freaking business on the planet and they're basic steps that I truly believe my niche miss. And so when I break it down, I already know what they're looking for. And so 
so therefore it makes it very easy for me to explain what I'm offering. And what I'm offering are these five basic steps. You're looking for step three, Mrs. John or Mrs. Johnson. You're looking for step three, Stacy. Let me show you step one and two as well. Like, let me show you step four. Let me show you step five. And all this applies to social media marketing, um, which is what I'm teaching, right? So whatever the heck you're teaching, find a way to put it into a simple system that makes sense to the, to the, to the, to the, to the consumer, to the, to, to the business owner, you know, make it, make it, I truly believe again, man, you hear me talk about basics all the time. I truly believe in explaining shit. Basic like explain the basics, like explain it to a second year old, like teach this stuff as you're teaching it to a freaking second, uh, not second year old, uh, like you're like you're teaching it to a freaking second grader. Like it has to be that basic. Um, in my opinion, man, you can be as complex as you want and you can be as complicated as you want. And there's a niche for you guys too. But, but again, man, what, what I've, experienced and what i realized is that my niche and i truly believe it's every niche they all miss the basics they all miss the basics when it comes to social media marketing and facebook advertising and so yes i already know of 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 what they're what they're lacking i already um know what their stuff is missing um, which gives me leverage to know the best route. And, and, and again, my best route, it's the same. It's the same five steps. It's the same route. It's the same thing that I'm teaching every single person. I get onto the call. I get onto the call already knowing what they want, which is a lead or a sell. But then I, I have to dumb it down and, and bring them back down and say, hey, man, that's what I call step three. Let me share with you step one and two. Because without step one and two, your step three ain't going to make much sense. Your step three is not going to convert as high as you think it would, which is Facebook advertising or Instagram advertising. That's not going to convert for you as well because step one and two has not been implemented. And so I dumb it down. And then once I show them step one, they're like, dang, dude, that makes a lot of sense. And then once I show them step two, they're like, damn, I do need to do that first. So it makes sense to the client because again, I've done my due diligence and I know what they freaking are missing. So yes, um, I, I do check out their stuff and decide the best route. Um, but again, I already know the route. Like I already know the route. That's why, you know, that's why I have a 90, 90% close rate, man. Cause I already know the best route. And that's why with you, Raymond, you should know the best route as well. Whatever niche you're going after, know the best route. Know that they're only looking for a sell or a lead. So what's the best route to get there? And dumb it down. Dumb it down you know, to, to an elementary level where you can explain it and, 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 and get that sell. Okay, so um, what is your strategy there? And most importantly, how, how do you transition the eventual sales pitch? or want a better phrase, or want a, a better phrase. Okay, so what is your strategy there? And most importantly, how do you transition the, the eventual sales pitch? Okay, so here's, here's, a, here's another really good question, man. Another really good question. It's so crazy that you bring that up because I already know that. Like everyone's pitching, everyone has a pitch. And, and from a consumer's perspective, when you're a business owner, you know that everyone's trying to pitch you. Like, it's just, it's just what business owners get. Like, we're not the only marketers hitting up a business owner about offering services. Like, they're getting 10 million calls a day, right? And that's why I truly believe my, my approach and my, yeah, my whole approach, man, is completely different than what I was learning in 2016 from every guru. I have a completely different approach. Um, and, and, and I even tell them in the beginning of the call, like, I even tell them, I say, hey, John, let me make this clear. I'm not here to pitch anything. What I'm going to do is show you these basic steps to implement on your social media to really help you with your branding, help you with your exposure, and help you with your overall lead capture. And the only time you'll even need me is if you just simply don't have the time or, or may not have the knowledge to implement this yourself. I literally make it sound like a consulting call. Like I'm on their side. I'm not here to pitch you. I'm not here to convince you. I'm not here to close you on some overwhelming, expensive package. I'm here to show you the basics on what I truly believe your pages are missing and how you can implement them yourself. But if you don't have the time or the knowledge, for sure, I'll be here to help you. But let me kind of just walk you through and visually show you what, what I mean. And, and again, these are basic steps that I truly believe you're missing. 
should you implement them i just really believe they'll enhance what you're currently doing online and help you attract more clients and help you capture more leads and help you build this overall you know social media brand which what you're trying to do so that right there is kind of my 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 pitch if you want to call it man i make it sound like a normal call i make it sound like hey man i'm a consultant here's what i want to share with you and and here's here's my secret ninja um philosophy here's my secret ninja philosophy i go into the call that way sound like sounding like a consultant and sounding like i am simply showing you what to do and 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 going into the call thinking that or, or sounding like I know you're going to do it yourself but down inside I know damn well this is my ninja strategy man this is what makes me a closer I am a closer here's what makes me a closer because I already know damn well you're not going to do it I already know you're not going to have the time and I already know you don't know how and I already know you don't have the pay you don't have the patience to learn it like I already know like so by me teaching them and my by me showing them and my by me consulting them and my by me helping them and by me visually walking them through each step that really allows the call to open up and and make them feel more welcome and make them feel like I'm not pitching them and then at the end of the call they they always tell me David you know what shit that sounds super freaking awesome but I'm a professional plumber or i'm a landscaper or i'm a doctor or i'm a physician or i'm a dentist i don't have time to do any of that stuff i need you to do it for me i swear you guys 100 percent of the time man that's what happens 100 percent of the time dude they're a freaking automotive mechanic like they they're running a business like they don't have time to do all this stuff but they know here's the thing man every business on the planet knows the importance of it they know how how important social media marketing is for their business they know they need to be running some type of facebook ad or instagram ad or youtube ad they know that they know that that the buzz has already been out for a few years now on the importance of building your business on social media you have to have an online presence um so they know the importance of it and so when you're over here talking to them and consulting them like no other company is or no other freelancer is because everyone's trying to pitch and close the deal and everyone's pitching high ticket when you talk to them and say hey man this is where we can start like let's start on step one and two first and it's not going to cost an arm and a leg like let's start there first and as we get everything updated as we start to run some facebook ads together as we really start to build a relationship we we, we will scale up together we will grow together and that's what i tell my cl my clients all the time i'm like man i don't want to start you at an expensive package i want to grow with you like i want to start small and increase you know, monthly as we start to capture more leads, as we start to close more deals, I want to grow with you. And that's been my, my strategy. My, my, my whole process is, is, um, is, 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 is approaching the call that way. And, 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 and knowing at the end of the call, they're not going to have the time or the willingness to go do it themselves. They're going to need you to do it. They're going to need you to do it. And that whole call will literally last about a good call with everything being said is, is, is about, is about, is about 30 minutes, about a 30 minute, 30 to 45 minute call. Um, and I'm, and I'm off. And, and, and so the way, the way I transition is, is that way. I'm not really I'm, I am pitching. I'm so ninja where I am pitching. I'm pitching the whole damn time, but I'm making it sound like I'm just consulting. I make, I'm making it sound like I'm just teaching and, and I'm coaching and I'm, and I'm guiding them and I'm, and I'm walking them through. And that's why I use zoom so I can visually share with them what their pages are missing. And then I can share other clients of mine and I can show them their pages and they're like, damn, that person, he's in the same industry as, as I'm in, his pages look way better than mine. And so this whole Zoom app allows me to visually walk them through, man, and 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 show them, you know, how their how their 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 overall social media presence can can improve. And so um um so I hope that helped, Raymond. I hope that helped, man. Um 
it all starts with your with with knowing the niche it all starts with knowing their pain points it all starts with 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 being able to 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 leverage your experience or your background or your interest or your passion it helps to be able to leverage that type of 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 um of, of selling point, really, it's, it's a sales point. Like it's a, it's a, it, it, I use that as my leverage, right? Like to, to, to get me more, you know, respect, so to speak on that call and make it seem, seem like I am a big deal. Like I'm the important one here. Like your, your business is important, but without me, none of that's going to happen, man. You're not going to be able to run a Facebook ad the right way. You're not going to capture a lead. You're not going to freaking make more money. Your, your, your whole social media brand is not going to be as, as up to date as it should or up to par as it should. You need me. So I, 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 I know I have that type of authority on the call already, but, um, but, but, um, being able to, to, to leverage my experience and background in the same industry definitely helps. Okay. It helps a lot. And, 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 um, having all your social media up, up is super important. So watch some of my previous videos on, 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 on how I'm building a social media agency. Like in my playlist, there's, um, like if you come to my channel, you click on playlist right here, click on playlist. One good, um, playlist to, to, to look at is the, um, how I'm building my social media agency. And then also, if you really, really want to know Raymond, here's another thing, man. If you really want to know how I'm building the damn thing. There's a link in the description, digitalagencyblueprint.com. That is an um, a um, that is an actual um, um, VIP email list where I'm teaching a lot of what I'm doing and how I'm doing. That's going to be a whole new training course that I'm going to be releasing in 2020, um, teaching people exactly how I built my agency from my niche, from from direct message them from presenting to closing to the services that I offer. I'm going to be packaging, packaging all that up and, and offering that as a, as a real good training course to teach you how I'm building my social media agency. So that's digital agency blueprint.com. If you're new to Facebook ads, you got to know the basics, man. If, if you're going to be offering these types of services, make sure you check out FB ads, for beginners.com that link is in the description that's where i'm teaching people the basics starting the the, the most important foundation of your you of, of your facebook advertising you know career or endeavor whatever the hell you want to call it like i've been through so many courses man shout out to every guru out there but so many people miss the basics i truly believe so many people miss the basics and that's what fb ads for beginners is going to be all about is teaching people how to how to launch successful facebook ads and and how to cover how to cross the t's and dot the i's with setting the, the right foundation and knowing the basics because the basics will kill you if you don't implement them man had I knew had had I knew different ads to run in the beginning, I would have saved thousands and thousands of dollars. So fbadsforbeginners.com is going to be an amazing course that I release as well, teaching people the basics of Facebook advertising. So those will be two good links for you, Raymond. Um, let's stay in touch for sure, you guys. What I do during the day is build my social media agency. What I'm doing during the day is direct messaging, um, running Facebook ads, and presenting to social media clients. That's what I do during the day. Um, and then, and that all started in 2016. And from that came a book that I wrote, a digital book that I wrote and in, uh, an actual training course. And that's what kind of uh, led me to fall following in love to, to falling in love. Excuse me. That's what led me to falling in love with digital publishing, being able to package all that knowledge and, and put it into video form and being able to offer it to, to, to my specific niche. Like that has been a game changer as well. And that's what I'm looking to scale in 2020. It's my course. So, um, but when you're starting out, man, I'm telling you, man, I did it on a shoestring budget. I didn't run Facebook ads in the beginning. I did not cold call. I didn't telemarket. I didn't door knock. I didn't do any of that. All to the direct message, all from my little office, all from freaking a laptop and a cell phone, man, and a Wi-Fi connection. I, I built my agency. So you guys can too, man. Keep it simple. Go after that niche on social media. Become friends with them. Direct message and bring value. All right, guys. So thanks for the comment, Raymond. Much love and respect, man. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.